I think the, the reef is a, a wonderful thing for the world and we have a big responsibility um, considering where we're located geographically in terms of what we do here influencing the health of the reef. It would be uh, uh, foolish of us to think that we could do whatever we want here and not affect the reef. We, we have a duty of care to do uh, the best we can by the Great Barrier Reef. It's, it's very important to remember that we're part of a, a much bigger a picture and the Great Barrier Reef is, is part of that picture. Um, we've done a lot of wet season spelling and um, moving towards more intensive grazing patterns, which wouldn't have been possible without, without the funding that we've got from yeah, Australian Government funding through, through the Enco Geotropics. With those processes, uh, we've changed a lot of things uh, and we're getting a lot better ground cover. That's really helped by just slowing down water flows and keeping water on the property. We are managing to put a lot more carbon into the soil, um, which is holding, holding the soil here by keeping moisture here, by keeping grass here, um, which keeps, keeps our cattle happy, our bottom line happy. It's not in our interest to do the wrong thing by the environment. It doesn't help our bottom lines. I think when I was a young bloke, there was a social licence that, uh, that we enjoyed. The, the uh, general public considered graziers quite highly. Over time, uh, that, that position's been eroded and we need to make some, uh, so a lot of effort now to gain back that social licence. No, I'd like the community to know that there's a lot of people on the land who, who care and who work very hard for environmental outcomes. I'm very proud of what I've done uh, in, uh, in respect to the Great Barrier Reef. I've done a lot of work uh, publicly and on Dragon to, to um, help the Great Barrier Reef become a much more resilient uh, uh, organism.